and the more positive they become. It puzzles me that we are more concerned with external things than in knowing the truth of our identity. A lot of money on books about how destructive we are. We go to encounter groups where we agitate each other.
go. We need to let go of our assumptions of wanting this and wanting that. Their perspective. Do we really know what is right or wrong, good or bad? There is, and he calls us tramps and beats us and throws us out into the winter night. Then, brother, if we can say with love in our hearts, bless you in the name of Jesus, then we shall have found perfect peace. Remember the words of Jesus to the woman at the well when he was thirsty and wanted a drink of water. And he said, whoever drinks of this water will thirst. But whoever drink of the water that I shall give will never thirst. Drink the waters of truth in every present moment. Be content because you are complete. To be content in every present moment, regardless of what you do or do not have, that is true joy. Regardless of what you thought your brother did to you. Let me see my brother as I see myself. Joy is image and likeness of God. And image is thought. God created man in his image. Let this mind being you that was also in Christ Jesus. Know that you are love. So instead of believing God is an energy field of pure, unconditional love. No conditions attached. He that thinks like I think, greater works can he accomplish. And what is the Course teaching us? I will live with you. I will teach with you if you will think with me. You are created in the character of God. And character is what one is. Reputation is what one is thought to be by others. Here's what others think about you. Your responsibility are to your heart. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Know that you are love. So instead of believing in God, know that you are God. And then greater works you can accomplish. And it's natural. First to do mighty works. Because the Father within doeth the work. I and my Father are one. You want to live in the fear. And you will be loved. And you will do all things through a consciousness of love. By accepting the essence of what we are.
without acceptance. Image. is thought. It's an idea. Everything is an idea. Everything in form was first an idealated because we think with thought and we see with thought. They're showing you, you, the image, the mirror effect. You live in the state your mind is in. It's the outside picture of an inner. It's we that must have a change in thought style. First, by change in lifestyle. We need to imagine better than the best. We need to know to the truth, the simple truth. And truth depends upon the intensity of the imagination of what you know. You become what you imagine. And imagination is the way, the truth, and the life. And the Christ in you is your imagination. And only as we live by imagination can we image his thought. And we have two thought systems. And both cannot be true. What is the Course teaching us? Dream happy dreams. Happy dreams come true. Not because they're dreams, but because they're happy. Imagine yourself in the state you desire. See the blueprint. Your light body is your blueprint and it's available. It's a miraculous thing to know, to imagine. Imagine yourself in the state of your fulfilled desires. We can only be filled up from within so we can escape the lack and limitation of the outer world of ignorance. We man, human consciousness, we have dual parts. Man is a twofold creature, an imaginary fantastical being. And these two opposing thought systems cannot occupy the mind at the same time. These two opposing thought systems are embedded in our nature. So Anything that happens to us, chance or accident, is not not responsible for any. Anything that happens to us, we're all held responsible. What can you trust? Find to come to your assistance. Release your mind from all the idle thoughts you have made and allow it to rest in the awareness of truth. Allow it to rest in quietness. Where you can choose reality instead. And what is the Course teaching us? The awakened mind knows itself, its source, and its wholeness. All of this unreportable mental activity that goes on in the mind, they're just thoughts that are working havoc. And again, two opposing thought systems cannot occupy the mind at the same time. Every thought, every every thought contributes to truth or illusions. Either it extends the truth or multiplies the illusions. And you cannot have the fulfillment of your desires without acceptance. Accept yourself as you were created and as you are. If the subconscious has a fixed belief, and a belief is a thought, 
no matter how true or false, that it is impossible to be healthy, successful, or, or be in joy and peace, or, or, be, uh, um, or be in abundant joy, it's going to hinder or stop you from accomplishing health, success, joy, and peace. The power is there within us to change the belief, change the thought, transmute it. How? Through the power of love. Because the only power that can transmute all of this unreportable mental activity working havoc in the mind is the recognition, to recognize is to know that we are spiritual beings. You are timeless and eternal, inhabiting a physical body. And it's this power within us that can do all, all things through you, through man. It's the Christ within us, the Christ consciousness within us that directs all things, making straight your way, and all obstacles removed before you reach them. We are formed and molded by our thoughts. We have a book, a tool, 365 lessons, release all that you've made, give it up to the light, release from within, and you will not attract it from without. Every thought makes an impression. Every penny counts, every thought counts. And the moment the subconscious receives an impression, it begins to work out ways of expressing it. Because it accepts the feeling impressed upon it and immediately sets out to produce the exact lighting, lightness of that feeling. And this is why feeling is the secret. Feeling is the language of the soul. Your feelings create the pattern of your world. So a change of feeling is a change of pattern. The subconscious is not concerned with whether it's true or false, a loving or unloving thought. It accepts that which you feel to be true, and your acceptance of it makes it real. And because of this quality of the subconscious, all things are possible for you. We just have to decide. According to your faith, feeling, it is done to you. The Holy Spirit does not ask that we have no thoughts that are not pure, but that we have none that we would keep. Your thoughts create your reality. The thought is always more powerful than the thing itself. It's always the thought first. Do not dwell on thoughts of lack and limitation. Entertain thoughts of of, of, of abundance. Love is our abundance. Counteract a more powerful thought to diffuse the thought of fear. Not I. Not I. I will be rich. I am. I'm rich in the richness of God. I am. It's a stronger feeling. And what you feel will always dominate what you would like to be. So we have to pay attention to our thoughts and feelings. And whatever you can conceive, whatever you can imagine and feel is true, you can manifest. Because manifest means easily understood. and recognized by the mind. You are detaching from the outcome. The f- it surpasses the manifestation. I feel I know because I am created in the image, image of thought and likeness of God. And when we say the word God, you're not referring to someone outside or out there. You're referring to your true self. God is love, and that is what we are. We came from an energy field of pure, not contaminated, not corrupted, unconditional love, no conditions attached. So the higher we ascend, 
The more you give to what is real and already there within you, the more it gives back to you. The higher you ascend, the more more light you have and the more you can create. It's very difficult for us to manifest in a third dimension because it's a very dense energy because of the density of it. So we have to raise our vibration. We have to raise our frequency. See, it becomes easier for us to uh, um, unleash our hidden potential and cannot die. They share the essence, the attribute of their creator. And an unremembered thought is, is not one that has died. It's just it's not in your awareness. And awareness is the key to transformation. Everything in manifestation is connected with the infinite ocean of life. And wherever there is life, and there's only one life, and that we share with all of creation, infinite energy is behind it. And your mind is the most powerful device given to you. Many of us are not using the mind. The mind is using us. By changing your mind, you have changed the most powerful device given to you for change. And when you give your mind thoughts of the purest quality, thoughts that are wholesome and pure, to work with during the day, those selfless thoughts begin to mold your life. Because you are the light. You are the light of the world. You are the light of life. What is the Course teaching us? I am affected only by my thoughts. And only your thoughts can frighten you. Since those thoughts belong to you alone. And you have the power to change them. To exchange each fearful thought for a happy thought of love. The Course teaches us your mind can wish to be deceived, but you cannot make it be what it is not. The mind can make the belief in separation very real and very fearful. And fear crucifies. And we're crucifying ourselves. Love says, your thoughts condition your behavior, and you are a holy thought in the mind of God. Not because someone told you so, you read it in a book, but because somewhere in your mind you know it's the truth. And what's the the Course is teaching us, lesson 330, I will not hurt myself again today. Why should we attack our minds and give them images of pain. Why should we teach them? They are power. When God holds out his power and his love. And the Course is teaching us, return and be made free forever from all of our mistakes and be saved. Be safe from what we thought we were. I am affected only by my thoughts.
Consciousness is God, conscious of itself, expressing in a world of forever changing form. Conscious in the realm of effect, and the subconscious is the realm of cause, cause is thought. We're in a universe of cause and effect, and all things evolve out of consciousness. As we go through this awakening, or spiritual awakening, it seems to be a giving up of something. Trust me. Consciousness and God. Creator does not want to take from us the little that we have. You're no lack. You're given up at the ego. Being nothing, it has nothing to offer. Belief in lack is a belief in delusions, deceptions, our self-made thoughts. And those self-made thoughts keep us in a prison. They're like plants. If we feed them, they will grow. Let them die. You're giving up what you thought was valuable. You're emptying the mind of all judgments, concepts, and and desires, selfish desires. Exposing all of your dark secrets to the light and allowing the light to strengthen you. Trust in the creative action of life. Your life is perfect, whole, and complete. We're afraid of receiving what we really want. And all we really want is what we already have. When I get to heaven, heaven is right here right now heaven and hell are not geographical states of consciousness it's the state your mind is in now heaven is not a place or condition it's a state of being And being is love, and that is what we are. And you are here to experience heaven on earth now. So this is our illusions. Help us to accept our true relationship, in which there are no illusions, and where none can ever enter. In exchange and hell for heaven, you come alive. And aliveness simply is God is. There's one life. And that we share with all of creation. As for assistance, in cutting the strings, the attachments that keep us bound and tied to time. Time is thought. The thoughts we've made. Your real thoughts are timeless. We need to free ourselves from all the self-inflicted mental torment we cause ourselves. We think past the future are real because we're more in the past than planning the future. You cannot have the full
of your desires without acceptance, self-acceptance, self-love, approve of your thoughts of an opposing nature cannot occupy the mind at the same time. Both cannot be true of them. And the thoughts you made are your beliefs. And they will not be taken from you. They can be given up by you. And thoughts increase by being given away. And the more you believe in them, the stronger they become. Every soul, and you are a soul, every soul who has attained inner peace will tell you, joy is our upward right. And it's nothing we have to work hard for or to attain. When you are in alignment with the spiritual world, love operates on the spiritual level of consciousness. We're not being asked to do what lies beyond our understanding. Many of us must be reached through words because many are unable to hear in silence. And every situation we find ourselves in about the effects of an internal cause. Thought. And every situation, nothing happens without your consent. And everything that happens is what you want to happen. And if there were no difficulties, we would only be skimming on the surface of life. We want to go beneath the surface. Die for the pearls at the bottom of the sea. Are we giving up? Are you giving up the belief in lack? God does not know lack. It's an error in your thought system. Simplify your life. And simple does not mean mundane and dull or drab. But you're giving your time and attention to what is important. You know, activities for sale, but stillness isn't. And only a still mind is defined. Be with you. If you don't want to be with you, why would anyone else want to be with you? Simplify, purify, and make do with less. And the lessness is the richness. Father, Mother, Creator, God does not want to take from us the little that we have. Simple means easily understood and clear. God does not even know lack. It's an error in your thought system. need to let go of our tightly organized beliefs. And there are three distinguished attributes that depict or characterize the expanding of consciousness and the awareness of what you are, of your true self. One, you become aware that all life is one life, and there is no other, only you. I am you when you are me. Only the form is different. Content is the same. What I see in you, I see in me. I see myself in you. What I and two, your values change. Lesson 133, I will not value what is valueless. You're no longer valued what was once valuable. To the awakened mind, it's valueless. Nothing has any value. Only the value you give it. And the Course is teaching us, when valueless ideas ceases to have value in your restless mind, then you will know the truth. You have awakened to your soul's purpose. And you're not now in alignment with principle. Principle is code of conduct. You're conducting yourself in a manner 
according to the image in which you were created. Love. And what is the Course teaching us? Use the signs and symbols of the world, but do not buy the form. We have to earn this in consciousness through our practice, through your devoted practice, the image in which you were created. And three, your physical senses have turned inward. You're now seeing with spiritual sight, true vision, and vision is showing you where to go, what to do. You are being directed from within. God's healing voice protects all things. His voice will tell me where to go, what to do, who to speak to, what to say. The safety that I bring is given me. His voice protects all things through me. It will tell me when to speak and what to say. But we have to, we have to be, become unified. We have to merge, align, so you can relate to life. We have to reestablish a relationship with ourselves. Your mind has to become one-pointed, single vision. You are exhibiting, expressing a high degree of diligence, dedication, devotion in your life. You have an inner uh, um, security, inner strength that cannot be broken, lost, or taken away. You're focused. You're steadfast. You're not given up in the face of adversity. Your focus attention is fixed on the inside, your inner world of love. You're no longer identifying with this false personality self. The image that you have made. You're residing in your natural environment, your natural eternal home, your true self. Where you're constantly being filled. You're filled up from within with love, light, and wisdom. God is the doer, the doing, and the deed. You want to remember only the beautiful things that you have felt and seen and experienced. If your five senses see only the good, then your mind will be a garden of blossoming soul qualities. Universal, universal mind is extension, is humble. He knows he is a branch of the divine, divine, and that the branch cannot be a fruit of itself, except to abide in the vine, rooted in the vine. We need to live simply and take life more easily. The essence of what we are, joy, lies in giving yourself time to think and to introspect. There is an infinite intelligence that governs all creation. We just have to wake up from the sleep of forgetfulness so you can fulfill your divine destiny and allow your true self to shape and mold your life. God is the cosmic carpenter who shapes and chisels life into all its forms. We have to be determined to break out of the deceitful pattern of delay and rush to meet the light and freedom and joy. There is a 14th century German mystic, Heinrich Sussel, and he said, while he was alone in a church,
with many troubles weighing heavily on his heart. He was suddenly plunged that he forgot. got himself completely. Then he said, If that which I see and feel be not the kingdom of heaven, I know not what it can be. For time is death, and time is what prevents the light from reaching us. Time is the great illusion, and the jaws of time are all that you thought was real. And allow your real fall dies without any thought of anything. I am entering into paradise without any thought of all self-made thoughts. I am peeling away all self-made thoughts.
I am watchful about what thoughts I entertain. I am watchful about what thoughts I entertain. I choose thoughts that are of the light. I choose thoughts that are of the light. I will comb the twist and knots of my thoughts. I will comb the twist and knots of my thoughts. Make your deposits. In the lotus bank of your heart, may your deposits induce a state of dreamy and contented forgetfulness as you rest in the land of enchantment. May the river of your life flow into the sea of love. Let your thoughts be timeless. May you walk in beauty and breathe love's fragrance everywhere. May your conversations be truthful and trustworthy. May you walk in wisdom and strength. Life is not asking that you have no thought. Thoughts that are not pure, but that you have none that you would keep. Free yourself from your tortured mind and allow the thoughts of God to direct your every footstep. Tell yourself, my desire is to hear my real thoughts. I embrace the core essence of my real thoughts. I embrace the core essence. of my real thoughts and let your life I shine Still anticipation and quiet joy. For the perfect flower is revealed. Every perfect petal must become the perfume distilled, the satin texture spun, the full glory held in all its.
Shan. Within the enclosed green bud, be still in your eye and make the death to reason. Feel your light body. Walk in light with no reserve at all. Feel your light body. Your identity remains untouched in the midst of all your foolish faults your mind has made up and remember as a dedication to yourself, tell yourself, I embrace the core essence of my real faults. I embrace the core essence of my real thoughts. Rest in quiet certainty. What could be more certain but the truth of what you are? We have been so entangled and misled. by false interpretations, that we have lost communication with our own, not respond to anything directly, but to our interpretation of it. We react to our interpretations as if they were right. The divided mind cannot communicate because it speaks for different things to the same mind. This loses the ability to communicate simply because confused communication does not mean anything a message cannot be communicated unless it makes sense communication with God is life the truth is in your memory rest in quiet certainty what could be more certain but the truth of what you are? Feel a sense of release and relief. The divine light descends upon us all and we are purified, grateful, and blessed. For this we give thanks. Rest in quiet certainty, and so it is. Love you all.